Hey everybody, welcome back to Super Thomas Bros. We are in suburbia. Yep. And we're gonna skate. <sighs> we're gonna suburb it up. Suburb it up. I like that. You like that? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Just found our our episode title. <laughs> that suburb, was fast. Suburbing yeah. it up. That's a new record. <laughs> <laughs> Holy Literally, shit! Can... Oh my god! <laughs> not that even was... thirty seconds in, and we yeah. came up with the episode title. <laughs> That's just how fucking good I am, dude. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm, luck, I'm man. trying. I'm trying to hold on. Pardon any weird microphone noises. I'm trying to adjust my my sitch here. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to. I'm trying to figure out how I can lean back and watch you play without messing up my pop filter too much. That's not too bad right there. I'm liking this. I'm in a nice little reclined position. Oh, so we should. We have a story kind of to tell. Oh yeah. What's yeah. This, uh, oh yeah. Story. The story is about what you did at my house today. Oh, yeah. It sounds so bad when I put yeah, it like that. Yeah, I took that. a shit on the floor. <laughs> it's crazy, but he doesn't know about it yet. So it's <laughs> oh, just a shit. Um, so, uh, I'm, I find, uh, so I moved into a new house, uh, like, a couple months ago. Mm -hmm. And um, even before I was even planning on moving, I was... Uh, I was planning on getting new furniture because the couch that I had was a freebie from Crazy Tracy uh, back when I moved to Sunland fucking like four years ago. Um, and, uh, you know, it's it's a, it's fine. It's a good couch. But like I kind of wanted like now that I have more money and everything, it's like and I you could have a get bigger something space. Better. I'd have a bigger space. Yeah. Cause Sunland was pretty small. Um, so, uh in addition to a new couch, I finally wanted to get a new bed because um, I've been sleeping on the same twin bed that I've been sleeping on. Jesus, fuck. Uh, since, fuck, we lived... Uh, we were at the Galloway house. Until uh, 2012. Yeah, I, I had it back then. So, oh, there we go. Nice. Um, fuck. Uh, yeah, yeah. I got it. I got it when we were in the Galloway house. And then, like, we've moved three houses since then, yeah, and then so I moved out. it's been at least out. five years. This fucking, this poor bed has been moved, <laughs> like, five or six times. Yeah. Uh, and, like, when we were moving it out to the backyard, uh, I could hear it, like, creaking and cracking. Yeah. And I'm like, this thing, this, that, yeah. Um, but, yeah, anyway, so, um, nice. Um, yeah, I could do Tokyo now. Yep. Tokyo Drift. Heck, yes. Tokyo Mega Mecha Mayhem. Whoa. Oof. Um, so, uh, today I had to kind of make room for all the new furniture that's coming tomorrow. Um, mm -hmm. they're coming around after lunchtime, which is so specific, by the way. I'm so glad they gave me a specific time of after lunch, uh, <laughs> to, to get it delivered. Yeah. Like I've had lunch at three o'clock. I've also had lunch at 1130. Exactly. Like. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's like, that's like Comcast range. <laughs> um, <laughs> So, uh, so we had to move the stuff. So right now my living room has no couch in it. Uh, it's a sectional. My old couch is a sectional with a chaise, a chaise lounge. Woo. Um, and, uh, so yeah, so we moved the chaise to the backyard, uh, and the other part of the couch in here, into the office so now I kind of have like a little couch in my office and we're planning on putting a TV up on the wall behind my desk that I'm staring at right now. Uh, and uh, eventually being able to like play games on a TV in here and everything. And then record very comfortably. Yeah, record. Yeah, exactly. Kind of like what we have set up at our dad's house, but uh, easier to get to. Yeah. Because we live so close together now here. Ah. Uh. What? I didn't even bail or anything. What? God damn. Oh my god. Um I also we yeah, like I said, we moved the bed outside. Oh, and uh the bed the new bed that I'm getting is uh, a queen cuz my old bed is a twin. I've been sleeping on a twin bed for years. Um which is like fine. It like worked well in my little apartment before, but now it's like I have my own separate bedroom from my office. So now it's like I might as well get a queen bed. Um and, uh, yeah, the, uh, uh, the, this mattress I got from Amazon and I w I'm actually surprised at how fucking amazing it is for being a cheap ass mattress on Amazon. Yeah. 
Yeah, like, it did seem like a very nice mattress. When... Yeah. Um, I I took a nap on it earlier today. Oh yeah. How yeah. was it? It was like like sleeping on a cloud. Mm-hmm. It was like all of my dreams coming together. Yeah. That's nice. Yep. Yeah. Um, no, it, it was very comfortable, and I'm going to sleep. I don't have the bed yet, so it's just on the floor. Like, the mattress is just on the floor. Um, uh-oh. God, Jesus. Man, dude. God, you're gonna have fuck to, around. You're going to have to show your stuff. I know. At, th at this point, you're fucked. You kind of might as well, like, restart. Well, I guess you can practice more. Yeah. Whoa. The that, fuck that was that? Weird. Yeah, I don't know. Whoa! Whoa! That was a loop bonus. You might want to just stay around there. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> They're cheering for me. Yeah, they were. Because this this is where all like the rails that connect to each other are. So uh -huh. like. Yeah, it's better can... for combos and shit. Yeah, except that there's no really like. What you really need is is like when it loops. You know, like um. Whoa. That was so cool. That was such a good save right there. <laughs> Jesus. Bam, bam. It said, seemed to. Oh, man. They should have the Simpsons Road Rage I was, gonna, sound. I was just thinking yeah. that. I was uh, just. Uh, 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 yeah. uh, 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 uh. It's just about that. as jarring and odd, you know, <laughs> of, a, of a noise. Yeah, I know. Whoa. Ah. It's going to do one last grind. But maybe it's good I didn't because probably fucking beef it. I see, there that's a better, yeah. It's still not great, but... I'm a, I'm dead last. Dang it. Dr. Shrimp is dead last. <laughs> uh. So speaking of Tokyo, uh, there's a movie called Enter the Void that I've seen once and only once in my life uh, on uh -huh. purpose. Um, and... Uh, I remember it was. I watched it right after I moved to um, uh, f uh, La Crescenta, and um, it was like right after I stopped smoking weed. Uh huh. Um, because I stopped. I stopped smoking weed because of hypochondria, but also because I felt like I couldn't get away uh. with it quite as much there that I could in Sunland. Sunland, they didn't give a fuck. There were people fucking doing meth in my apartment building, probably. <laughs> Um, they're like, weed? Oh, thank God. Uh, got him. But, um, yeah, so, uh, I quit. And, uh, I was like, well, I need to, I need to fill that void in my life of, of trippy, ch not that you trip out on weed, but some, something to fucking, uh, I don't know, make my nights interesting now that yeah. I'm sober, you know? <laughs> uh, so I, 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 Jesus, um... So I, uh, I was looking for movies on Netflix to watch and, um, I was just kind of like browsing and, uh, one of them I saw was this movie called Enter the Void and I was like, it sounds like trippy. Like it's, it's, you know, it's, it sounds like it's like psychedelic almost. Yeah. I'm like, I, I'm, I'm into it. And then I fucking watch it and like the, the movie is like, um, Okay, well, first of all, before I get to the movie, the opening title sequence, I've shown this to you before, just the opening title sequence, I think. Uh-huh. Um, it's, it's incredible. I, it's like the, it's by far the best part of the movie. It, uh -huh. It's just the opening, like, production logos. Go oh, on, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah on, on YouTube right now, just search Enter the Void intro or, or, or production logo, something like that, where, you know how it's like... You know, it shows the main actors and the production companies that made it. You know that kind of thing. For that, for this movie, it's it's insane. Like they they put so much work into it for for no reason. Uh, but like, what <sighs> man? What the fuck is going on? God, they fucking are expecting a lot from me. Yeah. Jeez. Um. Yeah. So. Uh, Anyway, so and then and then like I watched the actual movie, and it's um. It's okay. I. Can't, it's definitely the weirdest movie I think I've ever seen. <laughs> um. 
like, okay, so this is gonna sound weird, but like, I kind of feel like it's like, a, a, a like strangely, it's a masterpiece. Uh huh. But, um, I won't ever watch it again. <laughs> uh, it's 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 so. I oh my god, I'm having a hard time describing it. I don't I don't want to I don't want to give any of it away or anything. Um, it, it, so I'll, I'll I mean like I I can kind of give you a synopsis. It's a ba it's basically about a guy who is living in Tokyo, um, who's kind of like I think he's like a drug dealer, and um. He goes to a club to sell some drugs of some kind and um, ends up getting ratted out to the cops uh -huh. uh, while he's there by the guy who's going to buy the drugs. Um, and the cops come and he locks himself in the bathroom and uh, he's like panicking and then they shoot through the door and kill him. Um, and uh, But the movie like takes place... Uh, through like first person perspective uh -huh. like even down to like the blinking it kind of has like little like blinks it's oh, really yeah. weird to watch um so but it goes through the whole process of him like dying from getting oh. shot and and it goes really weird and into like i mean the fucking movie's called enter the void so you can imagine yeah it being what a happens bit. you know um it like it's not like like heaven and hell type shit but it's more of like uh it, you, you know what it kind of reminds me of that one fucking movie we watched with christopher walken in it that oh Seven maybe psychopaths didn't. no oh. no no um i don't maybe you didn't watch it i think it was called like brainwave or something it was some sci-fi movie where they invented a device that was basically like oh there you wow. go Holy, what the hell did you do different? I know, I don't know. I, I even fell and everything. Yeah. Um, I wonder if it ha if part of it is, like, the time of, like, you only have a minute. So, like, if you're kind of... Whoa. What the fuck? That was funny. Um, <laughs> like, you don't want to be, like, riding around without doing tricks a lot. You know what I mean? Like, uh -huh. Even if you're not falling or anything, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like, so, like, do lots of manuals, basically. Um, so this movie, I, I can't remember what it's called. It's called like fucking brainwave or something like that, but it's about this, this technology company who creates this device that you wear on your head that, um, lets you re relive, uh, and record, um, experiences. So like, basically it's like, it's like watch, it's like a video camera and watching a home movie but not just vision and sound, but like all five senses. Like you're, <clears throat> like you're really there. Uh huh. And you can imagine that it's like incredible, and everyone loves it and stuff, and it's it's groundbreaking. Um, but then like there's problems with it, and and somebody like dies when they're using it. Damn it. God. Um, yeah, and all this shit happens. Uh, it's an old movie. I think it's like '80s or something. Oh okay. But um. There's there's a part in it that's that's kind of enter the voidish, where it's like, uh, it has to do with death and what happens afterwards, mm -hmm. um, and it's it's interesting. Uh, I think I think I think th that's that's done in a lot of movies, but in Enter the Void, it, it's like the whole movie is basically that. It's not like a little part of the end or something like it was in, in Brainwave or whatever. But it's it's essentially the whole movie is is that. Uh-huh. Um and uh Whoa, they are they love that. I don't know what that was, but maybe they like really huge combos too. Yeah, that's probably it too. Yeah. Um Anyway, so I think it's a great movie. It's very well done. Uh I can imagine it not really being everybody's type of movie by fucking any means. But um, if you're into that shit, probably watch it. There you go. Yeah, nice. that's, that's what it is. It has to be like... A shitload of combos. God, but still, I got number five. Fuck. Well, if you hadn't a beef that, that second, well, I guess it didn't... It didn't really matter. Um, I would shit. say manual balance. All right. 
Yeah, yeah that's probably a good move. Yeah. Anyway, I'm just trying to find conversation to talk about when you keep doing this over and over again. I keep beefing it and shit, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know what my original point was. <laughs> like, why I brought that movie up. You were talking about how it was a sub, it, like a substitution instead of smoking weed. Well, that was just, like, I was bored because oh. I didn't have the weed. And so I was, like, looking for something to occupy my time. Mm. Um. By the way, anyone who knows me watching this, I had a medical card. <laughs> I had a condition. <laughs> I actually did. I like they in California, they yeah. have they had medical. Well, now it's it's uh, uh it's recreational now. Yeah. Um, it's crazy. Except kind of. What's the deal with it? Like What do you mean, like? Well, it was legalized, but you can't buy it in stores yet. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, um, it's just because um, I I think the gap in between ah uh, nine um, the gap in between it getting voted in and then in 2018 when stores open for it, um, I think that amount of time allows the state to kind of figure out what the hell it's gonna do and stuff like that and to like right. budget things accordingly. Oh, that's what I would imagine. Uh huh. Um, so, um, whoa, damn it. Um, so I think that that's why there's kind of this delay. So like right now, I think actually it's, it's legal to smoke it in, in the state, at least it's legal to smoke it, but you just can't buy it yet. Right. So it's, there's kind of this weird, like legal gray area for the moment or for the time being, you know? Well, it's, it's not really a legal gray area. It's, it's more just like. If you can get it, then good good job, but you can't sell it. Yeah. And, like, there's a lot of things like that that don't have to do with drugs, I think. It's kind of like, um, I don't know. Like, I couldn't sell food without a fucking permit, you know? Yeah, yeah. But it's not illegal for me to eat food. So, yeah, So, like, exactly. that kind of shit exists already. Dang it. I don't know what the fuck went. It was like, I mean, like. Yeah, I'm just gonna. You get like 80s, like yeah. Yeah, if I get like two, the my first two runs are really bad. It's I think I'm just it would gonna, be impossible to yeah. Yeah, then the third round to pick it up. I wonder if it's. I man, I'm trying to. I'm trying to reverse engineer the algorithm to judge the scores. Nerd. In my head. <laughs> Let's uh let's let's find the ISO for this game let's see and, you do it. and and decompile it and uh yeah. Let's see you do Shit. it. God and like bailing, you only have a minute, so like bailing takes so much fucking time away. Yeah, because you gotta not only keep doing the moves, but you gotta build up your special again. Yeah. I like I already know this one's not gonna be good. Yeah. That's, it, see, this is getting into that fucking thing with Simpsons Hit and Run, where they crank the difficulty for some reason, and it's, like, absurdly high. Uh -huh. Because they don't have enough content to fill the game, so they're like, well, we'll just make it harder, and, th and that way it'll take longer for the player to beat it, and then technically it's a longer game. Yeah. And, and that's exactly, they do that, it's a trap that developers fall into, I think. Uh, and that's, and that's <laughs> starting to show through here. Because I feel like this is way harder yeah, than beating the cruise island. ship. Yeah, and plus two, it's like the difficulty between Rio and Skater Island was not that great versus the difficulty in Skater Island and here. Like the the, the difference yeah. in difficulty seems way higher. Like Skater Island, the first try, I got third place. That one place. was easier than Rio, but mostly I, also I think because you practiced. Better. Yeah. Yeah, but still though, I mean. Yeah, yeah. Kind of bullshit. It's a little, little, little bit of BS going on here, Whoa. I think. What the fuck? Wow, you pulled out of that one. Oh, you got a hold of that one. It's like, I actually did. Yeah. Good. Let's see you try. Let's see you bust something out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, gee, what the? Whoa. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Damn it. 
probably not gonna be too good. Let's see. Shit. Man, I know that one, you got like a hundred and something thousand points. And, uh, I mean, it's time for next time on Super Thomas Bros. anyway. Oh, shit. Um, I would, yeah, I would just, just go for points. Forget what I said about the whole time mm -hmm. doing moves versus, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's it's hard to tell how all of that comes into play. How they yeah. determine your score and shit. But, yeah. Anyway, next time. Yep. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. bye have, have a nice day, everyone. Yeah. And then while we're not on the doing the skating in Tokyo, we can do a little shopping and do a little sightseeing. <laughs> we're gonna gonna check out Tokyo. Just you know, just just see you do it. Yeah, just see you do it. Just bust something out. Show me a sight.